Good morning, Jonah. Good morning. I had, to, I had to go up into Grandma's posse. Okay, how are they? They're doing good. Okay, good. Now what? The sea Let's... monsters and the ice and the lizards. Alright, can you get that ice feed? feed? Yes. Thank you. Good morning. Where are your shoes, Mr. Brown? Will you take that up to the house, please, and then come back? Put it just inside. Why? <laughs> for, for putting it in the house. We don't need it out here. Come on. Will you take this? Thank you, buddy. And we have guests today. Tell everybody your name. Doug. Cooper. Where y'all from? Marion, North Carolina. Okay. You kind of have a normal shirt. But this guy kind of wins the shirt of the year. A pig with the North Carolina flag, man. You're going to have to tell me where you got that. Uh, I believe it was Peoples. Is that at Peoples.com? I think it was just uh, the store down in Marion. Okay. <laughs> All right, you grab that water room. We got some fans here today. We're here to get the farm experience this morning. Cooper, you and Dad have sea monsters? No, we don't. Now, how is it that you have such a cool dad to bring you out here on a Thursday morning? I don't know. I think he wanted to come too. You know? <laughs> that's good. Hey, you know you got it made, right? Yes. A dad that, that's going to take... Are you taking time off work? Yes. Look at that. Are you skipping school? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Coolest dad ever, right? Yep. So, uh, let's just rinse this off. We'll put this lid on that so it won't leak out. Scrub it out with your hand. Sit down on the job, huh? <laughs> they do eat it better, I think. If it's dry, they cr they 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 trample if it soaks. See, it's dry here. It's all eaten. Well, there's some powder, but when it's wet, it leaves some because they they stomp it into the ground. But we got to do something with this skim. So I've been soaking it in skim. Let's set them up in here. No, let's set up a big net. And then we don't have to move them tomorrow. We can take it easy. A good job. How many chickens do you have? my house we have 12 and at my grandpa's house we have 14. Nice. What got you into this Cooper? Well in second grade my class we hatched out chicks and that sparked my interest and I started thinking I would like to do something like that and so then we came across your videos on YouTube and we saw that it's real easy not nothing to it so <laughs> we built a chicken coop and now we have chickens. Good good job. All right we got a huge paddock right here kind of hard to set up daily paddocks in it so we're making it a big one and we'll keep them in here for a few days we don't want to keep them in here longer than four days or grass starts growing back and then they clip that freshly growing grass and it damages it eventually though we'll have it to where we can maybe go through that's like a swamp okay eventually we'll have it where we can put cross fences but I can't wait to bring the sheep in here because they're gonna eat this multiple rows they're gonna eat a lot of this stuff the cows wouldn't eat Thank you. We're going to need more posts, too. Well, he's getting posts, right? See how shallow that is? I'm not, I can get in two inches. I really need a hammer right here. I have to go with it. That's all we need, Jonah, is that one more. You got any questions, Cooper? Well, I have one. Um, so, someone like me who just has a few chickens, uh -huh. what should be my next step for farming? Good question. What a, what a guy context this guy's 12 years old he has the support of his uh, mom and dad uh, so they're okay with you doing chickens mm -hmm. I would say the next step is gardening in the farming sense do you actually like vegetables I do now tell me the truth dad's over there mom's not even well, here a, do a, you actually like vegetables there's a few that I don't like <laughs> <laughs> don't grow those okay let's be real with ourselves all right let's get these cows in hey you guys are making me look good this morning yeah, Cooper, it happens like that every day. <laughs> so, 
branch out into gardening and your dad mm. talked maybe like you guys are interested in pigs so right now when you're 12 start different things and don't do a big old garden just you know you're in school dad's at work mm. just do a little bit at a time trying to expand or find out what you really do like and enjoy okay. and certainly don't grow anything you don't like he does say he doesn't like some vegetables. Yeah. Do you like all the vegetables? Come on. No. Mom's not here. Okay. Lima beans? No, not so much. No lima beans. Don't grow lima beans. No matter what the books say, no matter what the social pressure is. Don't grow things you don't like to eat. I know, I'm sorry. We'll get you your baby. Hop in there, uh, Cooper. Help him corner that calf. You got him? Straddle that calf, Cooper. And hold, that'll hold, help hold him steady. Coming soon. Okay. Um, yeah, tie her up. Much less mooing last night. I don't think you started mooing till a couple of hours ago. It's as much training as it. It's more training for mom than the calf. Okay, so you're kind of trying some different things at this age, experimenting. Another thing, this is the asset of the now. It's always been an asset, but it's never been more easy, especially for young folks like you. Build an audience with surrounding content creation. That's always been a powerful asset since the beginning of time, but we've never had such an amazing opportunity to do so. And that's creating content through various social medias and other platforms. You can reach so many people that way. Another thing about building an audience, well one, Zig Ziglar talks about the four S's, right? So first, you need security. So you're kind of getting that. You kind of have this deep desire to grow your own food that's giving you some security. And then, what we can, once humans get security, they need stability. So stability is being able to pay the basic bills, right? And just basic survival. And so, with that could come through selling farm product. It could also come through selling content creation or entertainment surrounding what you're doing. It can be a blog post, a video, podcasting, uh, any of these uh, content creation sharing platforms uh, can be a way to do that. And then you have the, the third S, which is then or success. So then the, this asset, this content creation helps you find success in marketing your farm produce. You have an audience that is actually interested in selling it. Casey Oswich uh, not only builds his audience international online with YouTube, he also, when he sells as a gardener selling to a restaurant, he, he, he documents that restaurant. So not only does this restaurant get produce from him for a certain amount of money, that restaurant gets publicity. So when you're that restaurant, who would you rather buy from? Yeah, Casey, who's giving, is the same price as everybody else, but with Casey, you get free produce. And then the last one is significance. So once you're secure and you're stable and you found some success, you got it. You you want some significance, and that's where the audience comes in too. Because deep down inside, when we find something good, deep down inside, when we find something good, we want to share it, don't we? It brings us joy. It fulfills our joy to share something that's good. It completes our joy. And you've told me you want to inspire other people to do this, don't you? Yeah. No better way to do that than teach and inspire with surrounding what you're already what you're already doing. Come on, Miss Thing, let's go. Come on, follow Phyllis. Phyllis is ready to go. Come on. She don't want to miss out on the alfalfa treats. Okay, Cooper, future farmer of America, right here. Grab your grab your cable and pull that way. See this unmowed grass? Straight yep. Forward. Oh, there we go. Now you got it. See? See how easy that is, Cooper? All right. Is that good, Dad? I believe so. Okay. You just made two sheep very happy, buddy. Good job. 
All right, guys. Thank you so much. You guys are wonderful to be around. Thanks for letting us come. Yes. Good luck with your project. You have to let me know how it goes. All right. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, guys. See you. We'll see, see you. Breakfast. Hey, we're all done and gone, and Mr. Mr. Brown is hasn't gotten the memo. He's out playing on the box. He ate the broccoli. Well, he'll get hungry eventually, right? All right, I've been working on my Homesteaders America presentation. Hope you guys are going. Got two talks there. Uh, Rebecca's texted and wants to know what kind of cake Gideon wants for his birthday. I got a talk on designing your best homestead ever using permaculture techniques. I can't wait. Uh, oh, where are these kids? Haha, ha, they're down here. The other talk is using chickens in the garden, the animal garden miracle. Hope you guys are there. We'll do Q and A's after those talks. We'll meet all y'all after the talks. Hang out, get a picture taken. We'll have our DVDs there for sale. We'll be signing. Hey, Gideon. What? Um, what do you? What kind of cake do you want for your birthday? A tractor cake. A tractor cake, but do you like one at vanilla or chocolate? Like chocolate, and there's, and then Mama will buy the tractor. What goes on top of it? Okay, put a tractor on top of it. And you want a chocolate cake? Yeah. With chocolate icing? Yes. Chocolate on chocolate? Yeah, chocolate on chocolate. I'm back working. I just got a picture of Lily's haircut. Hang on, I'll let you see it. Uh, Homesteaders of America, I've actually been working on that. My presentations, two presentations. I already said this, didn't I? Anyway, I've been working on my Homesteaders of America presentation. You guys want to go to that. You want to go to that. It's like the premier homesteading event. It's in October near DC. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. There's a sale on now. If you buy online, it's cheaper online than if you buy at the gate. Come, come, come see us. Get all the amazing talks. Us, Jill Salatin, Jill Winger, and others are going to be there. It's going to be amazing. You want to see a haircut? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. She's lying. She's a baby doll. Oh my goodness. Supper time. One of our favorite meals. What do you call it, Rebecca? Fried chicken. Tuscan. Tuscan chicken. Tuscan chicken. Spaghetti squash. Our chicken. I don't know if it's our greens, but it's our tomatoes. Our chicken broth. Hey, um, you guys got to see. Did you notice? Did you notice? Lovely little hairdo you got there. Thank you. Are you ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. There's somebody else got a haircut. Oh, do it up, mom. Look at this doll, baby. Yes. Good job. You guys looking good? I got two doll babies in the house. Evening chore time. And we got some Chiddler shenanigans. Our mats are here. They've turned them into a tunnel. These are our mineral mats. That means we can get the luchador mats going. Go through all the way to Henry. You ready? Go. To Mr. Brown. Lead us into our bed. Maybe we can get to that. I doubt it. So much to do. So little time. Just one step at a time. All right. Let Jonah. We coming? We're gonna need stuff to make a gate. Yeah. That means metal wire and three handles. Okay. All right. What you got, buddy? Three. Um. Dewalt flex volt batteries. All right. You got those today. Yeah. Dang, that, those gotta, are powerful. Then we got a heavy duty grinder. <laughs> you got a grinder. I don't even have a grinder, bro. Yeah. Okay. 60 volt Mac. Yeah. Hey, this is what he's doing with his money from yeah. getting paid on the farm. Hey, hey, at least it's not Fortnite, right? You get the handles. I'm going to see if mom needs any help. Let me help you real quick set up this fence. Sure. Is everything okay? Okay. I was just trying to figure out how I could get them out there. Oh, I, I kind of wanted to try to, I was hoping that they'd be outside so that I could come up to them. See, I came up to them already, so they're already used to me. So I feel like they might be more used to me out there. Why don't you herd them out and then try to go out to them? Yeah. They're just saying they don't run from me. Oh, that's good. You kind of had to push them, didn't you? Okay. Can you catch them? in the field see that's what we're doing guys we're this is why we're running them into the stall 
Because, okay, because we can actually catch them, but is she going to be able to continue training them and catch, by catching them in the field? Or maybe not even catching them, but getting them to allow me to... Watch, watch. Yeah, your heart is a sun and it shines. Try number two. Is it all what is she? Yeah, your heart is a sun and it shines. Look at that. Is the sun and it shines. Is it open? That's just what you're gonna have to do. And you're gonna have to do that in the field. You got one you got a hand on them. Oh yeah. You couldn't have done that in the beginning. Oh yeah, I could have caught them. If I wanted to, if I needed to see somebody, I could have yeah. grabbed them. Is this a treat that they like, Lily? Yeah. Just give me a little bit. Just give me a little bit. In the sink with a mountain. Look, look, mom. <laughs> the little sheep whisperer. Would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world in the Look at you guys. Look outside yourself when you Look at you. I'm so proud of you guys. What a moment. <laughs> You guys remember when these sheep first got here? Yeah, I think it's this one. This one right here. Your mind is a space that creates your horizon. Your mind is a space that creates your horizon. Your mind is a space that creates your horizon. Your mind is a space that creates your horizon. Man. Your mind is a space. Let's take their lane and get them to right here, Rebecca. Let's get them on this bank. Let's get them up here to the edge of this. Let's get this watering. And let's go around this. I don't think they'll eat a persimmon. Will they eat a persimmon tree? We got their new area up. Mom's sitting there hoping they'll come around her. Lily. Lily has led them out with the uh, greens. Oh no, they're going right for the tree. I guess I don't care. You know what? I figure we like lamb better than we like persimmon, so. Nope, they were just nibbling. I don't think they'll destroy it. <laughs> 